Hi, I'm Gray Smith, Director of Vintage Movie Posters for Heritage Auctions in Dallas. Among the incredible rarities unearthed as part of the Berwick discovery of lost movie posters to be offered at auction on March 23, 2012, is a stunning Style F1 sheet for Universal Studios' landmark 1931 film, Dracula, the picture that made a superstar of Bela Lugosi and simultaneously ignited the studio's long-running horror franchise. By 1930, Universal Pictures was struggling. That changed quickly, however, when Carl Limley, Jr., became head of production and decided to take a chance on a new genre, one largely ignored by the other studios. Looking to a successful Broadway adaptation of Bram Stoker's classic novel, Limley greenlit a film version of Dracula, largely over the objections of his father, Limley Sr. Jr. won out in the end, a movie that would have far-reaching implications for both Universal and for the future of the horror genre. Todd Browning, who would go on to make the notorious Freaks in 1932, was the obvious choice to direct the picture, as he had been at the helm of several stunning collaborations with Lon Chaney Sr., including The Unholy Three in 1925, The Unknown, released in 1927, and arguably one of Chaney's most horrific pictures, London After Midnight from 1927, destined to be one of the cinema history's great lost films, and West of Zanzibar, 1928, all of which had had elements of the kind of horror and terror that would be on display in Dracula. He was the perfect director for the kind of picture Junior wanted to make. However, since Chaney, the reigning horror film star and the natural choice for the role, died suddenly prior to the start of production, the hunt was on to find a new leading man. Bela Lugosi had been playing the role of Dracula on Broadway since 1927 and was in consideration for the role, but Universal originally wanted more bankable names. While Lugosi lobbied hard and mounted a campaign on his own behalf, a campaign that ultimately worked against him. As the studio, perceiving the actor to be desperate, realized they could sign him cheaply. Ultimately, with only weeks to go before the start of shooting, Lugosi was offered the role at the almost insulting rate of $500 per week for seven weeks of filming. By comparison, David Manners, who'd played a forgettable Jonathan Harker, made $2,000 a week. An actor hungry for work, Lugosi accepted, and Hollywood history was made. Dracula launched the Universal Horror franchise that continued with such outstanding films as 1931's Frankenstein, The Mummy, released in 1933, and 1935's The Bride of Frankenstein. Come see this beautiful poster and all the others from the Berwick Discovery and an additional 1,200 lots at ha.com forward slash 7055. So join us March 23rd and 24th in Dallas, Texas for this outstanding auction of vintage movie posters.